Oh, good afternoon. Uh, pardon me, uh, like the first young, young man that came here said, when you speak in front of elders in Africa, you don't put on care. I think I should follow suit. Amen. As an African, I have elders here, so I have to take off my care. Are you agreeing with me? Yes. Thank you, sir, for agreeing with me. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everybody. My name is Joseph, uh, originally from Nigeria. But uh, I basically have been here for 20 years. And you can see I'm now South African. <laughs> Even the way, the way I talk, you can see that I'm South African. <laughs> so it's my pleasure to have you around. Africa is our blood. Yes. Africa is everything we've got. I came to South Africa and I started one thing, holistic medicine, amen. amen. Holistic medicine, otherwise you can say alternative medicine, where we use uh, African herbs and vitamins, everything natural, because I believe in Africa. So I studied it and uh, up to a PhD level, and I've seen that there's nothing else that is more important than being natural. Are you agreeing with me? Yes. Now being natural. So uh, I have tried my best to help people for the past 15 years. And I know that what we have in Africa is more than what is coming from outside Africa. You know, the herbs, the food, the lifestyle, the sun that we have as Africans is 100% more than what we should get from outside. Because of the way I've experienced it, use it on people, then I know that Africa is rich. Yeah. We are rich resourcefully, human resources, mineral resources, culturally, anything you can think of, we've got it. Yeah? We have it in abundance. In Anjama, we say in quantum. <laughs> yeah? In quantum. So, as a Niger man, I greet you all once again. On a welcome. Okay. Eh? On a welcome. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, welcome. Uh, yeah. Welcome, sister. Welcome, brother. Welcome, papa. Welcome, brother. Welcome, all my beautiful sisters and my mothers. I greet all of them. Thank you. You know, I like to speak in pidgin English. Amen. Amen. You know why? Because it's what makes me different from the British men. American, Australian, Canadian, anywhere they speak English. When I speak my pigeon, I feel comfortable. Uh -huh. yeah? I feel comfortable. So as I they tell them, I say, eh? <laughs> as I want to tell them now, eh? <laughs> as we did Africa, so. But I want to interpret. I will interpret, no worry. So as we did Africa, as we are in Africa, eh? We are protected. Eh? We are covered. You can see the sun. Just little heat wave. I don't know if I will even call it heat wave. Just little sunshine in UK. They are crying. Heat wave, oh, heat wave. Heat wave, oh, they want to die. Go to the shops. They don't even have bottled water anymore. They are crying. But here in Africa, we can stay under this heat. Our skin no go burn, no. Abi, no skin burn, eh? Our skin will remain the same. Rather, the oil inside the body will start coming out. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> the, the oil in your skin <laughs> that has been hiding from cold will start coming out because of the sun. It start melting and you start glowing. Ah, have you noticed so? Not so. Oh, no, never answer. Have you noticed so? Not so. Uh, now, no, no, talk to me. So you, the, your skin will start glowing. Yeah. Then you don't even need anything artificial because your skin will be glowing nice and your brownish color will be okay. And when the Mulungus will see you, and they want to be like you. And you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, when the Mulungus, they see you, they say, I wish I could be like this African man. I wish I could be like this African woman. Let me tell you, all colors come from black men. Mm -hmm. eh? That is why you see, when you bleach your skin, you turn white. <laughs> Hello? 
<laughs> because there's white the inside the black. And it comes with different colors. I understand him. To be purple and green. You become like the white Chinese. You become, you know, Chinese are not black. They are not white. They are just white. So when you preach, sometimes you look like the Chinese. Sometimes you look like the Indians. Sometimes you look like the Arabians. But at the end of the day, you still come back to be an African color. Come and give yourself a cup of I get you so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You get me. You get me. Let me say you get me. I get, I get you. you. I get you. I get you. Do you feel me? Yes. I touch my blood. I touch my blood. <laughs> uh, now. So when you use herbs, one herb can do different things in the body. Hello? Yes. There's a herb we use called the make testo. Even the government now, they said it was a prescription medicine now. Not because it's dangerous, because you see the value of that herb. So you can't just use it unless it's prescribed to you by a doctor. And you get what I'm saying? And we have it in abundance. So they, they are taking away from you, the traditional man, to make it a prescription medicine. So that before you is for the liver, amen. It is used for liver problem. So if you go to your father's compound, there are many herbs that you can use. I remember my mom when she was alive, when we were kids, when she wants to make a pot of soup, she would put herbs for fever, for cold, for headache, just for us to, to be strong, you know. She would go to the back house, she gets something that is called ntioke. It's okay, it's a kind of leaf. It looks little, the ears of the rat. That's the name of the leaf. It heals you from malaria. Hallelujah. Okay. Hey, forgive you. I say hallelujah. Forgive me. <laughs> eh? No, it's okay. It's okay. Am I forgiving? You know, sometimes when you are used to some things, you don't even know when they jump out. You will just come out there and say hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jared. Praise the Lord now. I heard that you are in the midst of. Medical department. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so we have these herbs that are very, very important that we can use. Okay, I'm not saying that medical treatment is wrong. No, this is why it is called alternative medicine. It complements. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. eh? I can never condemn because sometimes when you need to ease, to relieve your headache, you can take herbs, it takes time to work. But when you take Panadol, quickly, sharp, sharp, and then it goes upside. And you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we have those things. So medical practitioners, I salute you. I salute you with your telescope, with your uniform, with your injection. We are afraid of injection. <laughs> God bless you all. We are all doing this for humanity. That's why I love Africa, Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu principle. That is what I've adopted. Anywhere I go, I exhibit Ubuntu principle. You live because I live. I live because you live. And that, that, that's our African lifestyle, isn't it? Whether it's South Africa, or in Nigeria, or in Zimbabwe, or Zambia, wherever you find an African, he lives for you, you live for him. I believe mean, so. That is the beautiful thing about Africa. Hmm? So we have to make Africa great. How do we make Africa great? You make Africa great from where you are. Economically, we have to make Africa great. We have to pray for those in power. The eh? Bible says pray for them in authority. We don't say our prayer, no, they go far where they live. You pray for those in authority, your prayer will touch them, it comes back. Hmm? You pray for them, the prayer doesn't touch those in, in politics because they are criminally minded. <laughs> they can never change. You pray for them to, to give you good roads. Your prayer hits them, it comes back. The road will get worse. Worse and worse. We need lights. You pray for them to fix the lights. The prayer hits them and comes back. The light gets worse. Stage 2, stage 4, stage 6. Eh? Uh, <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. But I will keep praying for them anyway. Yeah. My God, they answer prayer. Yeah. Hmm? 
so that Africa will get better. Amen. And those of us in the government space, try to do your best so that you help Africa to be better. What we are talking about making Africa better is not about we, it's about our children and children's children. Eh? The generation to come. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that we are working towards making our children not to go back to slavery. Hmm? Because since we were born, eh, I'm more than almost 50 years plus now, I haven't enjoyed anything from the government. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So we don't want our children to continue in the same, in the same cycle. In the same cycle, we want our children to live a better life. My parents didn't go to school, I was opportune to go to school. I had a level. So I want my children to go to a higher level. Now you understand what I'm saying? I will expect your children, your grandchildren to go to a higher level. At the age of 15, they will own their own houses and their own cars. Not at the age of 30, 45, like most of us did. Hmm? So we are working towards the, the generation to, to come. Yeah? I don't want my grandchild to suffer what I suffer. You wouldn't want your grandchild to suffer what you suffer. You, not, not anyone here. Because our generation is, is a, I don't want to say useless generation. No. Don't be useless generation though. No. People want to make us useless. The colonial masters made our fathers suffer. Those freedom fighters who fought for independence, they gave us good life. But those who came after them, they want us to suffer. They will pass, and our children will work with a new generation. Huh? Our grandchildren will work with a new generation that will make them happy. So as you are here, work with Make Africa Great. Hmm? Work with who? Make Africa Great. Make Africa Great. You may not see the results today. In the next five, ten years, you will see the seed that has been planted today. Yes. Eh? You see, like when you give natural medicine, it takes like four, four to five days or six days for the medicine to sink into the body and start working. You understand? It doesn't work just like that. If I give you help today, it, it takes like four to five days because before it goes into your bloodstream and it starts circulating and it starts working. Hmm? So things don't just happen. They have to go down, like the food digestion, it has to digest, go to your small intestine, then to your large intestine, then to your, it goes permeates to your bloodstream and starts circulating and all that to get the nutrients. I get what I'm saying. So whatever we do it today, it will take some time to manifest. But if you have a vision, you will see where we are going to. If you can see further, you see where we're going to. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. I say I see the South Africa. I say the South Africa. Come join me, Baba. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. You right? Okay. Give me five. Give me, give me a high five. So it will be like I don't talk finish. Huh? I want to drop the microphone. Eh? I want to drop the microphone. Can you give? I wanted to say, can you give Jesus a clap of it? Eh? Give Jesus a clap of it. Give everyone a clap of it. Give your neighbor. Give your neighbor a smile. Say, ah, make you be happy now. Be happy. 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 Be happy.